is using wood bad for the environment? Is it really? Cutting the trees down surely doesn't sound good for the environment. Have you ever given thought to your country's forestry? As I mentioned in the earlier post, 75% of Japanese land is mountains. Forestry and our life are very close physically. When you visit Japan, you might be able to feel that. The trees grown for commercial uses have to be straight. If you let a tree grow the way it wants, it will not grow straight. But when you drive along Japanese mountains, you will notice that many trees are growing very straight and these only have branches on the top. Also, they are keeping the same distance from each other. That is because someone is growing the trees. The people in the forestry are usually taking care of the mountain where they grow trees generations after generations. Because one tree to grow big enough to be used takes several decades. The tree planted by a grandfather's generation is good to cut today. Each generation plants new trees for one or two generations after them, while they are minding the growing trees currently. Japanese people and mountain forests have been cohabitating from the early stage of our history. Forests give us resources of many sorts. This is because the shape of our land. Japan is long from south to north, but it is quite narrow from east to west, and the land holds 3,000 meter high class mountains. Japanese mountains are very steep. So if we cut too many trees at a time, it will cause landslides. But if we didn't cut the trees at all, it will cause forest fire and other troubles. So it cannot be said sweepingly that cutting wood and using it is bad for the environment especially in Japan. If you find this story interesting and would like to see what I meant by yourself, visit Shikoku Island in Japan. That's where we are. The size of Shikoku Island is about the same size as Connecticut, USA, but we have nearly 2,000 meter high mountain and many 1,000 meter high class mountains surrounded by two different seas. The scenery we have here will give you a great idea of what I told you today. That's all for the day. I'm Satoko, the head curator of Kore Shikoku Japan. If you like teeny bits of information at a time about the cultures and manners of Japan in general and the Shikoku region of Japan, which enhances your experiences in Japan, follow us on the social media of your choice. We are on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. Thank you for listening.